conducted by Diving Services. Um, this is a coolie top tank, I want to say 55,000 gallons. Um, we will uh, document part of the cleaning and uh, the entire inspection today. The tank will be referenced like a face of a clock. Directly underneath the access hatch is the 12 o'clock position from 12 to 3, quadrant 1, 3 to 6, quadrant 2, and so on. Prior to entering the water, all divers and equipment are disinfected with at least 200 parts per million chlorine solution. Due to the small nature of the tank in the uh, 612 pitch on the roof, all of that had to be done on the catwalk, but it was completed. So, right now we'll uh, go ahead and pause the video and we'll come back on in a little bit once I enter the tank and start cleaning. Okay, we're coming on right now. The diver's in the tank and it's kind of cleared a working area. There really is not a whole lot of sediment in here. I don't know when the last time it was cleaned. I believe uh, the utility was saying five years ago or something, somebody was in here. But it does look like whoever did the blast and recode on it did not clean up all the slag. That's why you're seeing these black areas. It's not really corrosion, but it's the, uh, the <laughs> leftover uh, sand that they use to uh, peel off the coating. But we'll just uh, kind of watch me clean some of this up. It just really seems like uh, kind of a light block. Not really sand or anything like that. Um, did notice a lot of sticks in the tank. Pieces of branch and things like that. Almost one kind of looks like it had feathers. I don't know if that might have been a pigeon that got in here or not, but it's gone now. We'll go ahead and uh, pause the video for right now, and I'll just kind of keep cleaning here, and we'll come back out shortly when I'm all finished. We are uh, coming on now. Really not much sediment in this tank at all, less than an inch. Um, and of course that's, you know, building up on the bottom part of the bowl. You really don't have much sticking to the side or anything like that. And what you do is uh, kind of come down and settle here at the bottom as we've been uh, sucking it out. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, pause the video. Actually, we won't even pause it. We'll just go ahead and move right along to the inspection. So I am uh, right now I'm below the access hatch, which would be what we call the 12 o'clock position. And... Uh, this does have internal stairs, or actually rebar in here, and they appear to be in pretty good shape. Really not uh, a lot of corrosion going along, along the sides. Now what you see in the tank is very misleading. Um, whoever did a blast and recoat on the wall here, what you have is some staining going on. But these areas right here, it looks like the, uh, like the finish is gone, but that's not necessarily the case. Where you see all these black areas, the contractor that did the blast and recoat did not clean all the, uh, the blasting material out of here, and that's what you get when it gets uh, trapped behind the finish. So, in all actuality, I mean, like, this looks all like it's in really bad shape. It's not. Um, Yeah, you would, it looks like it's hitting and stuff, but that's not it. I'm not seeing, seeing a lot of rust nozzling going on inside the tank either. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of work my way back from the 12 o'clock, and we'll go right to the uh, inlet outlet. The, uh, the seam is in uh, excellent condition. Tough to tell. I know it doesn't look like it was seeing this the slag that's left over, but 
it really is. Uh, I don't see any kind of chance of leaking at the scene. The ladder, where it does secure to the base of the tank, is also in very good condition. The pipe itself does not have any uh, rust nozzling going on. It has staining. Um, does look like you got a hole here. That probably was repaired uh, when they did the uh, blast and recut, but it doesn't matter. Actually, it goes through on both sides, so it's supposed to be there. So we'll just kind of inspect the floor seam here at the very base of the tank. A little bit of leftover sediment, but as you can see, that seam is in excellent condition for the year of the tank, as that's consistent throughout the whole floor. The welded supports on here, I'm not seeing any rusting going on, I'm not seeing any blistering. The drain does look like it does have some corrosion going on around it, but that's really the only thing that I've seen that I'm seeing any kind of corrosion on. If I take a quick look here at the wall seam, again they're in excellent condition all the way up. Sediment that's sitting on top of this. There are some areas of the tank where uh, you do have what I want to call pop outs, but they're not they're not really pop outs, it's imperfection of the tank. But I really don't have any recommendations. I mean that looks like hitting, but it's not. And like I said, well right here. Here is where you have some blistering going on on the wall panel, and this is going to be in the set the six o'clock position. Um, really, not much you can do with that. It does seem to get worse as you go up. So the base of the tank is in good shape, but as we start making our way up, yeah, that blister is really bad. And it does look like it's consistent all the way to the top. So the first the first panel is in great shape, but as we go up it gets pretty awesomely worse. We'll take a look at the bandway, which is at the one o'clock position. And again, you can see a lot of blistering around the bandway. Oh, there we go, sorry my camera got a little bit off. But uh the manway does have a lot of corrosion, a lot of blistering going on on it. The internal seam, I would call it fair. And here's some of that where you see these sticks or whatever. I don't know how that's getting in your tank. Some cracking going on on the finisher on the manway, but overall, I really don't see a problem with anything that's going to be a potential leak in this tank. I would I would actually budget for a blast and recoat. Um, but that's gonna be a little bit down the road. There's absolutely no point doing any kind of a plastic repair in the tank with the amount of uh blistering that's going on on these higher up panels. So the group does have some delamination going on. There are a couple of rivets missing. Uh, actually, a lot of delamination around the access hatch. Access hatch does not have uh, the uh, a lock on it, a gasket, and the uh, condition of the hinges are in really bad shape. Right there is your overflow. The weld seam is in really excellent condition around that. But uh, you can see how evident the this over here is staining. It's going to be quadrant. Three and four, but basically quadrant one and two is real bad with the corrosion going on in the actual finish. So the only recommendation I would have is to uh, blast and recoat the tank at some point. I would say in five years, you could probably get away with having the tank clean every five years instead of something like three. So on behalf of Diving Services, we'd like to uh, thank you for your business, and we'll have the tank cleaned and inspected. Go ahead and pause the video.